I think Little Rock has a lot to offer. And when we first came here to interview, somebody told me this was sort of an undiscovered gem. And I absolutely believe that to be the case. Um, people that come here, come here saying, oh, I'll give it a try for a couple of years. And if you look at our faculty, many of our faculty are people who came here to train for just a year or two, and they're still here. I originally grew up in Michigan and then did my graduate training in Southern Illinois and finally did my internship fellowship and now faculty position here at UAMS in Arkansas. And I have to tell you, when I applied here for internship, kind of in the back of my mind, I was like, this is for training. I can live anywhere for a year. I really didn't anticipate staying in Arkansas because I had so many family connections and friend connections back in the Midwest. Um, however, once I got here, I fell in love with our program, first of all. Um, I fell in love with UAMS and the way it's connected to our community. For me, it was a pretty much a no-brainer to stay here, and if you would have told me that would be the case when I applied for internship, um, I wouldn't have believed it. So one of the things that impressed me about UAMS and the psychology training program specifically was the dedication and the adherence to work-life balance. We are known around the state as the place to come for specialty treatment, uh, specialty med medical care, specialty behavioral health care, and that's something that makes us very special. And you'll have uh, here at UAMS, you will be one of a handful of people in the state that does what you do. Um, and you'll be considered among the very best. For folks that want to get into research with the goal of really making a difference in the community, there are just tons of opportunities here. There are not a lot of us psychologists in the state. And so chances are you're going to be an expert actually a lot sooner than you might be in other places and that opens doors to be able to make an impact sooner. The Psychiatric Research Program is a great environment for training because it allows such rich collaborations between its divisions. So even though I'm in the Brain Imaging Research Center, I can still have research training with interns in the psychology program. On the child track, um, you are actually working on the Arkansas Children's Hospital campus at the Child Study Center. Child track interns um, can possibly get exposure to um, different types of like pediatric um, clinical settings. My favorite aspect of our psychology training program at UAMS is how custom tailored we're able to make the program to specific interns goals. Being a small program, um, faculty really care about making sure that our trainees get the experiences that they want. And we also have the flexibility to work with folks to that end. One of the reasons that I've been at UMS for so long, and uh, particularly in the Division of Psychology, is one specific element that's important to me, and that's really about the psychology division leadership and faculty are really good balance and combination of supportive and helping students and faculty you know, get what they need. I think as a psychologist, you have to be dedicated to lifelong learning and growth. And I really think UAMS helps fulfill that. And if you want to do something, if you want to develop a new clinical program, if you want to start a whole new line of research, the message here is great. Like, where, where do you want to start and how can we support you? I do a lot of different things at work and I, I like my work to be uh, varied and to do a lot of different tasks, but when it comes to fun and after hours, I'm a little narrow-minded and I'm a mountain biker and so on the weekends you'll find me out on the trails mountain biking and so I know every mile of trail there and there's lot, hundreds of miles of trails here in Arkansas and they're being built every day like it's just become kind of a destination for mountain biking. So that's, that's what I know about it. If you want to know about that, I can answer those questions. Arkansas and Little Rock has so much to offer. And um, one of my hobbies is trail running. So I like to go out to the Washita Mountains and um, run on the Washita Trail. And there's lots of events and um, opportunities for mountain biking and hiking um, and canoeing and kayaking. Um, and I think that that really kind of helps to soothe and you know, refresh yourself after a hard week when you get to go spend the weekend out in the woods. People in Arkansas are warm and welcoming and open. Little Rock has been an easy place to live. Um, we love having easy access to the mountains. 
Um, it's a very outdoorsy city. We like to be outside. We have dogs, there's dog parks, um, walking paths, running paths, parks. There's a lot of performing arts here, which is something else that I enjoy. Um, we enjoy the food that is here. We've really enjoyed it here. Um, I love the restaurant scene at Little Rock. There's a lot of great places to eat. I love that the airport's 20 minutes away and I'm never stuck in traffic for more than 30 minutes. The cost of living here is so reasonable. I supported my husband and myself just on my internship salary alone when I lived here. And that was really important to me um, because how an institution compensates you is an indication of their value. My favorite thing about Little Rock and Arkansas are the people. Uh, having grown up in the South, they remind me of the people I grew up with very cordial, very polite, but also there's a strong Midwestern ethic here. People want to roll up their sleeves and, and get jobs done, and I really do appreciate that. So we do a lot of training and engagement, collaboration, building partnerships with officers, probation and parole officers, the courts, and lots of arms of the justice system to build and grow training programs to increase competency and knowledge about behavioral health in that arena so that we can really effectively collaborate and partner to keep people out of jail and get them into treatment. My research focuses on the intersections between traumatic stress, um, PTSD, addiction, and involvement in the criminal justice system. I work with um, lots of different um, elements of our criminal justice system, including prisons, jails, uh, reentry centers, drug court, um, things like that, to try to work to understand how to best make treatments available in those settings, like treatments for post-traumatic stress disorder. I also have a big focus of my research now on implementation science and really understanding the strategies of how to do this well, um, with the goal of making you know, interventions that we know work in other settings and community settings available to folks that don't often have access. Another way I get to support interns um, and really across our tracks is by being one of the facilitators of our Cultural Humility Didactic Series. This is a real pride point for me personally and for our internship program in general. The curriculum is a highly comprehensive program that involves process groups, didactic learning, immersion experiences, journaling, really targeted efforts in helping trainees build a stance of cultural humility. One of the unique opportunities through our internship program is the opportunity to pursue neuroimaging research through the Brain Imaging Research Center. And my role on the training program is to help facilitate that research with our interns. People always ask what my favorite part of this training program is, and I, I always say it's just such an easy answer. It's the faculty. The faculty here are amazing. Every psychologist that comes here to work wants to work in an academic medical institution because they like to teach. And that's true of every psychologist here. I don't ever have to strong arm anybody into supervising interns or fellows. They want to. And we come together and make a really nice group um, of faculty who take training seriously and support each other and always support our um, interns and fellows. We mean it when we say we're training centered. And so hopefully what you'll find when you come here on internship is that you're able to customize a lot of experiences depending on what's important to you. What are areas of development you wanna have? What are strengths you already have that you really wanna grow because they're important to your future career? I think what you'll find here between that customization as well as the high kind of emphasis we put on supervision here at UAMS that it feels like a really training centered environment. And so kind of why I stay here is sort of what I like about our program in that it's a program that really embraces who you are and gives you enough flexibility to practice the things that are meaningful and valuable for you. And so I don't imagine myself moving anytime soon because this is the type of environment I want to be in and it's the type of work that I feel really called to do. And I'm, I hope you will too.